taking control of his own destiny. This is the newly focused, and some have said revitalized, Baron Corbin. A man who believes he's returned to his roots, who's gone back to basics. Corbin's come out here looking for a fight, and you can believe that's what we're about to get. The following champion versus champion contest is a championship tournament first round match. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, the NXT North American. Once again, Corbin has redefined himself. Free of nicknames and fancy outfits, here's to separating the men from the boys. You have to respect it. He's at the top of his game right now. Here comes the 330-pounder, Bronson Reed. And his opponent from Black Forest, South Australia, weighing in at 330 pounds, the WWE Champion, Bronson Reed. Bronson Reed tips the scales at over... 330 pounds, but is the agility of a man half his size. Though when that tsunami comes crashing down, you'll know you ain't facing a cruiserweight. Bronson Reed is indeed ready for war. I have a feeling we're just moments away from another jaw-dropping, pardon me, Stu, tsunami! This first round tournament match will help determine the landscape of the rounds to come. And no one wants to get knocked out this early in the tournament. So while this isn't the finals, I'm still expecting a big match feel. You're right, Saxton. These superstars have every intention of winning this whole thing, so they'll be fighting hard for the right to move on. Oh, that got turned around on Reed. Quick takedown there. Uh-oh. Suicide dive! That's finding any which way to topple the competition. Hurling your own body like that is insane. Planning on what to do next. Hellacious power slam! That offense might have rocked the confidence of Baron. Reed's Australian strong style certainly looked effective there. We know Corbin is not afraid of a brawl, but... What if his opponent decides to turn this into a technical contest? Look, Cole, raw power and brute force can beat even the most seasoned grappler, and that's the case with Corbin. He needs to hit hard and hit often. Hoisted high up across the shoulders into a sit-out axe driver. And that can vanquish Corbin. What a kick out! Not for a single second did I believe Corbin was going to stay down. Baron has way too much resolve. When your opponent can hang after all that, you're wondering if earning a win might just be impossible. Check out this big power bomb. It only gets a one count. Still going to take a massive effort to keep him down. from the lone wolf. You can feel the contempt as Corbin delivered that move. <laughs> this is Corbin doling out karma for everyone who turned their backs on him. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. And Reed didn't find a defense for that attack. Counters, this could be an opportunity. And responds with a counter of their own. Arena of pride. Top wrist lock, opponent down to one knee. 
now starts to fight out with some punches to the gut. Knife and chop. He's going for it all. Oh, misses the mark. Power, what a shot. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Bronson rising to his possible demise. Uh-oh. Corbin with the end of days. Vehement force from Corbin. Two. He stays alive. He stays alive. I don't know how he did it, but he's hanging in there. Just how much pain is he willing to endure in this match? And you know this is only going to make Corbin angrier now. He wanted to end things right there. No love lost between these superstars right now. Really trying to prove who the better man truly is. Slam! He's on his heels a bit now. When you're in a tournament situation, Cole, you tend to push yourself to your limits. Makes him pay with a counter. He's getting up, but there's danger in front of him. Here we go. Suicide dive! Just a devil-may-care attitude on full display. Going for broke, and it pays off. Ooh, he got all of the knee. Corbin fights back. Three. Deep six by Corbin. Everyone watching this is on pins and needles. What a match. A battle for the ages. You can't. And the cover for the win. What an incredible match and win for Corbin. The voice of the voiceless has returned. The following champion versus champion contest is a championship tournament first round match. Making his way to the ring from Chicago, Illinois. Weighing in at 218 pounds, the undisputed WWE Universal Champion, C. CM Punk made his return with a flood of emotions, but he knows he now has unfinished business and a story of his own to complete. After nearly a decade away from WWE, Punk can still compete at a high level, and he'll need that with today's competitors. A polarizing figure, but Punk is determined to be the best. I gotta tell you, it still feels so surreal to see CM Punk back in a WWE ring. It's almost like destiny let him back home. Never say never in WWE, and CM Punk is ready to prove himself all over again. from Air Scotland, weighing in at 254 pounds, the 
WWE Intercontinental Champion, the Scottish Warrior, Drew McIntyre. Something tells me the countdown to Claymore has already begun. Serious implications in this contest. Winner advances in the tournament. Loser has to head back to the locker room. Ousted from the event moving forward. Ooh. Looking to put an end to this. Snap pile driver. And that looked like a terrible landing. That might have caused some serious issues. We'll have to see what happens. Frankly, he should have known that wasn't enough. Strong counter from Punk. Kick. Strong Whoa. kick. My goodness. Able to interrupt the attack. Oh, man. Right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. And that can end up putting CM Punk on shaky legs for a bit. Yeah, Drew looks pretty confident with his attack there. Corey, Punk is so crafty in the ring. Can almost see the... Damn, Punk with a jaw in your hockey. Look at this. Oh, a couple of knees there. That'll get him out of it. Held in a perilous position. Power bomb all the way to the outside. And out at ringside is not the place you want to be grounded. And he's taking this to the outside now. And gets tossed back into the mat. Two. Big time Falcon Arrow. Momentum is running away from Punk. CM Punk needs to bring the match back to his pace. What a vicious assault by Drew McIntyre. Showing that ferocious fighting spirit. Drew's not leaving anything to chance here. He's playing to win. Stops the kick. Wow. kick. Big form. Got him set up in the corner of the ring. You're ready to count, Byron. Here we go. Uh oh. And Punk gets countered there. Good defense. Close line to the back of the neck. Producing a trampling. McIntyre now with an unrelenting attack. Next level brutality coming from McIntyre. He saw it coming, taking advantage. Both competitors showing how well they know one another. Dominating shoulder tackle. Boom! So much damage inflicted. The close of this match is just ahead. Yeah, this is not good. You don't say, Saxton. Neck breaker after the float over. That was pretty. McIntyre reverses and looks to cap. Claymore connects. Will Drew close this out? Cover. Oh, shoulder up before three. You can't forget how defiant Punk is. You might throw your best at him, but he'll still keep getting up. The Scottish Warrior thought he had his opponent's number there, but he was sorely mistaken. Able to get the advantage here. Uh-oh, sweet dreams coming. Going to sleep. Drew with cause for concern. Looking for the victory. There's two. Kicks out, just kicked out. McIntyre's been taken to the deep waters, but he's proving to be someone nearly impossible to keep down. 
Punk has him trapped. Uh oh. He foiled. Uh oh. Flipped over into an arm drag there. Punk never saw that coming. Scoop slam, making it look easy. Setting him up for something here. This superstar looking to advance the stage of this match into a hazardous zone from the middle rope. Has their opponent up. Avalanche, white noise. Is it enough? The cover. Two count. And a win. That may be one of the biggest wins of his career. Here comes Finn Balor. One of the most talented competitors around with a darker edge than ever. The following champion versus champion contest is a championship tournament first round match. Making his way to the ring, representing the Judgment Day from Bray, County Wicklow, Ireland. Weighing in at 190 pounds. The NXT Champion, Finn Balor! A man with amazing high-flying skills, unmatched stamina, and a physique carved out of marble. It's good to be the Prince. I find it amusing, Corey, that despite all those gifts you mentioned, he still requires constant backup in the form of the Judgment Day. Is it Balor's fault that so many competitors want to sit under the learning tree of one of the greatest competitors of this generation? If you ask me, he's not teaching them the right lessons. He's got all the skill in the world, but the Judgment Day never plays by the rules. All you need to see are the titles, the main events, the accolades earned by the Judgment Day. Balor's teaching all the right lessons, and the Judgment Day has executed them to perfection. Here comes the Austrian anomaly, Gunther. A man with one purpose, to prove the math sacred. And his opponent representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 297 pounds, the NXT UK champion, Gunther. Gunther's all business. There is very little wasted motion in this man when he gets going. Well, there may be roadblocks in his path, but Gunther's dominance has shown no signs of slowing. Record-breaking reigns with the NXT UK and Intercontinental titles. He's put away main eventers and future Hall of Famers while defending those titles. Set first round matchup underway. The winner of this match moves on to the next stage of this tournament. Knife edge chop echoing through the arena. Draped across the top turnbuckle. And this is just unmatched brutality. He's positioning himself, closing in. From the top, all the way to the outside. Coming down on their opponent like a sack of bricks. Oh, stop 
right to the hand. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Re-entering the ring now. He's outside the ring now. Hope he's got a plan. Ripcord, Lariat. The pressure got to Balor there. We'll see if he can rally. Yeah, a very motivated Gunther in front of us. Just toying with their opponent right now. Having fun at their expense. Just mocking their opponent right now. Total disrespect. But I guarantee they're going to take great umbrage with that offense. Paying it right back with a reversal. Answer after answer for each other's offense here. Gunther fears no man. What are you waiting for? Get back in there. You tell him, Saxton. Okay, already we get it. Stop looking for adulation for the crowd and get back into the fight. Whew, that was close. Nice drop kick. Immense pressure. And will this be it? the kick out. He's nowhere near ready to stop fighting yet. Oh, complete dead left. This is incredible. Gut wrench suplex. Talk about intimidation. I'm not sure if it's resilience or stupidity that's going to drive you to try and come back from a move like that. Still that again. Yikes. He's struggling a bit here. That attack was a cacophony of catastrophe from Gunther. Gore Buster. Finn left unprotected. Double underhook suplex. Just a relentless assault from Gunther. And I don't see Gunther slowing down whatsoever. Elbow thrown to break up the maneuver. Debilitating attack on the leg. Targeting the knee, targeting the leg. This is a perfect strategy. David versus Goliath 101 in action. The ring general showing off his power, delivering a power bomb. Balor's in a terrible predicament. It not only takes strength to kick out there, it takes willpower. And Balor is showing that in from the top. That one fails to land. Missed the mark. DDT. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. Gunther catches him by surprise. Got to find a way to get out of this. Ooh, pinpointing the tree. He's going for the pin. This could be it. It's over. All in a nice work. Ladies and gentlemen, when you think of WWE, you think of John Cena. Loved by many, resented by some, but respected by all. The following champion versus champion contest is a championship tournament first round match. Making his way to the ring from West Newberry, Massachusetts. Weighing in at 251 pounds, the world heavyweight champion, the greatest of all time, John Cena. He has won Royal Rumbles, Elimination Chambers, Money in the Bank matches, and the most WWE title reigns. He's also won the hearts and minds of the WWE Universe. As fickle as the audience can be at times, they know true greatness when they see it. We are witnessing greatness.
The King of Kings has arrived. One of the most prolific champions and decorated competitors in WWE history. And who is now, perhaps, the most powerful man in the entire company. And his opponent from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, the Game Triple H. You know, maybe this is a case of the teacher looking to educate the students. We know Triple H created NXT in his vision, but perhaps he's decided to come out here and show our NXT superstars how it's done. It's a case of leading by example. The game is here to teach and raise everybody to the next level, from the bottom of the NXT roster to the top, to show them how it's done the right way. And of all the possible matchups in this tournament, I'd say we've got one of the best in front of us right now. Look, I'll admit I've had my fingers crossed it would work out this way. This one has real show-stealing potential. Oh, man, right to the arm. Hyper extend your elbow. to the gut, too. Down to Bonus, and a double axe handle smash. Look at Triple H, top rope from the top. Side steps and countered into a backbreaker. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. It appears the game might have to think of a different plan after that. Cena showing off his true greatness. First drop. Cena giving us all the taste of one of the five moves of doom. Triple H is always thinking out there, always a couple steps ahead of his opponents. I can't imagine a world in which that's not the case here tonight. I expect we'll see the very best of the cerebral assassin here tonight, Corey. back in under the ropes. Cena powers him up. Cena with an attitude adjustment. The game down might be in for Triple H. Call it veteran instinct. Call it being just that damn good. Triple H is still in this one with that kick. Out. But Cena now can't take his foot off the gas. He was almost at the finish line. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Oh, stomping away. He's looking a little off balance. Yeah, with that, Triple H showed how he's not going to be one to rest on his laurels. Did you hear the impact? Oh, no. I think that one busted up Cena's face. Carefully placed stomp to the arm. You see the trademark dominance of Triple H. Triple H has got him right where he wants him now. The clear result of master planning on part of the Cerebral Assassin. Hits him with the counter. He finally creates some more offense for himself. You can't push the game that far without getting some retaliation. Put it in a position now. Oh, snake eyes caving in their face. And here comes the game. Heavy right hands. 
sending his opponent off. Reversal. Triple H with a knee to the face. Cena is unable to stop this string of offense. Yeah, Hunter looking like he's living rent-free in Big Match John's head. He's heading to the floor, but he can't take his time. A ring-shaking spinebuster. And every time we see that from Triple H, he seems to add just a little more malice behind it. Now look at this aggression, just oh, pure brutality. Come on, easy. Brought back into the ring from the floor now. Ah, there's the running into there's the cover. Cena's doing it. Both competitors digging deep into their well to keep this match going. Uh oh. Cena warding him off. Crucial turnaround there because Cena was falling behind. Time now to get his energy up and claw back into the fight. John Cena. He missed. Arms hooked by the game. Pedigree. Triple H has this all sewn up. Burn the ships. Baron Corbin is raring for a fight. That's right, ladies and gentlemen. The lone wolf mentality is back. No one's safe. The following champion versus champion contest will be a championship tournament semifinals match making his way to the ring from kansas city weighing in at 285 pounds the nxt north american champion baron corbin if you ask baron corbin he will tell you that he is the epitome of what being a WWE superstar is all about. The Scottish warrior is ready for battle. Brandishing the King's Blade. This is a man who fought his way all the way to the top of WWE.
Dangerous semifinals action. It's crunch time now, gentlemen. The end is in sight. Corbin gets stymied. Ouch. Ooh. Oh, God. The Kimura. Oh. The Kimura. Kimura lock applied. Well, the he doesn't have much time before his arm snaps. Great job fighting out. Close line. Off with their head. And Drew's starting to really feel the... The bear hug cinched in. Gotta find a way out and catch your breath. Look at this. No quit whatsoever. Raining down elbows and escaping the bear hug. Kick to the stomach puts an end to that. Going counter for counter. Now, can it be capitalized on? Side slam. Nice. Countered it just in time. Shifts it back onto him. Corbin's face has seen better days. I can tell you that. Avalanche white noise. Just look at the confidence, Drew Mac. Here he goes for the win. Can he close it out? Just a two. He just won't give up. Corbin dodges that one. Trapping the arm and raining down elbows. Vicious. Hoping to end it here. And he kicks out of the pin in one. Still not enough to put him away. Drops the hammer right on the lower back. He heads outside. Countout's legal in this match. Man. Oh, what a right hook. Oh, man. They do not care who or what they destroy. Yeah, Byron, you are dangerously close to being collateral damage in this one. Vicious right forearm. Ooh, walloped by a huge club. And McIntyre forced into a compromised position now. McIntyre not usually in this tight of a spot, but he's going to need to respond quickly to save the matchup. Oh, a nasty stomp to finish it off. Deep six by Corbin. And he's going for the pin. This could be it. He kicks out at two. That is just pure instinct at this point. No way. Astounding power. End of days. Incredible. Baron Corbin can put it away here. Turn around. The pin. The referee is missing the pin. Cover. What? Only two? Absolute defiance from the Highlander. McIntyre finding a way out of the pinfall. Corbin did a great job to pull that maneuver off, but somehow it just wasn't enough. But now Corbin has a lot to think about. Uh-oh. And Corbin may have felt that coming. Thanks for coming. End of days. Can that finish McIntyre? Two. That's it. The blood and sweat put into this match. Well worth it. Make way for the ring general, Gunther. Six foot five, nearly 300 pounds of pure malice. The following champion versus champion contest will be a championship tournament semifinals match. Making his way to the ring, representing Imperium from Vienna, Austria, weighing in at 200. In 97 pounds, the NXT UK Champion, Gunter! Six foot four, 265 pounds. Gunther is steadfast, commanding, imposing. He is the ring general for a reason. Untouchable and unmatched in the ring.
And don't forget, unrelenting. Gunther never lets up and never backs down. Gunther is always ready to demolish anyone who dares come in his path. And if you don't respect him, he'll make sure that you fear him. It is the ring general's battlefield, and he is ready to conquer. Here comes the game. The COO of WWE, but also a man who is absolutely dominant inside that ring. Something tells me we're about to see what's best for business. And his opponent from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds. The WWE United States Champion, the game, Triple A. You know, maybe this is a case of the teacher looking to educate the students. We know Triple H created NXT in his vision, but perhaps he's decided to come out here and show our NXT superstars how it's done. It's a case of leading by example. The game is here to teach and raise everybody to the next level. From the bottom of the NXT roster to the top to show them how it's done the right way. And of all the possible matchups in this tournament, I'd say we've got one of the best in front of us right now. Look, I'll admit I've had my fingers crossed it would work out this way. This one has real show-stealing potential. Enough already. Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Cranking the head. How's that for a counter? Hoisting their opponent up, draped over the top rope. And this is just unmatched brutality. To the outside. This could get wild. Goes under the ropes to get back inside. Reversal from the game. Nice right hand. Oh, this is just torturous. Yeah, the death lock applied. Oh, man. Just tap out. This is how you punish your opponent. He could pin his opponent right here. Not even a one count there. He is going to take this match as long and as far. What you're watching now, ladies and gentlemen, is legendary. Triple H on the comeback trail. Look out, face buster. We've seen Gunther stop people dead in their tracks with a single thunderous blow. How do you deal with an opponent like him? You have to weaken him all while making yourself a hard target. So be selective with your attacks and try to land blows to the legs or midsection. That'll help cut the big man down to size. We got a cover. And a kick out at two. I cannot believe what I'm seeing right now. No one can. And he's able to counter. 
crucial turnaround there because Gunther was falling behind. Gunther isn't allowing that burst of attacks to put an end to him. Precision perched up top. Nobody home. Saw that one coming. The ring general. to go down with a whimper, and this time is no different. It is just unbelievable, and Gunther's tank has got to be running low, guys. I don't know. And here's Gunther setting it up. Her naked choke. Triple H may never forget this moment if he taps out. Now the game. And he escapes the submission before things got more disastrous for him. Triple H has him up and... Oh, and a back. Here he goes for the win. And he fights it off. There's some shock in the arena after that kick out. Look at this. Just unloading. And a Oof. stop to the gut, too. Down to Bonin. And a double axe handle smash. Now oh, trampling the opposition. Bruising attack to the stomach. Arms hooked by the game. For the pedigree. That's the game changer. refusing to let this be over. And guys, Triple H is in a rare moment of confusion. The game thought he had enough to end this, but his instincts were wrong. Just cranking ahead. Gunther just can't seem to stop this offense. Gunther is being subjugated to a beatdown. Ooh, face buster by the game. Now thanking the cerebral assassin. You can see as he rises how vulnerable of a position he's in. From way up, double axe handle. Cover, is it enough? Triple H has done it. Here comes the lone wolf. The following contest will determine the championship tournament winner and is for the WWE Undisputed Championship. Making his way to the ring from Kansas City, weighing in at 285 pounds, the NXT North American Champion, Barry. I'd like to preface this by saying Corey Graves' comments about Baron Corbin are paid for by friends of Corbin. That's inaccurate. Corbin doesn't pay me anything to be his friend. One of the most prolific competitors in WWE history. 
Without question, a man who has exhibited over 25 years of dominance in sports entertainment. And that dominance will continue before our very eyes tonight. And his opponent from Greenwich, Connecticut, weighing in at 255 pounds, the WWE United States Champion, the Game Triple H. You know, maybe this is a case of the teacher looking to educate the students. We know Triple H created NXT in his vision, but perhaps he's decided to come out here and show our NXT superstars how it's done. It's a case of leading by example. The game is here to teach and raise everybody to the next level, from the bottom of the NXT roster to the top, to show them how it's done the right way. Not going to be any question about who's champ after this. And we are underway with the tournament finals. These superstars have left it all on the line, and they are one match away from victory. The end is finally in front of them. Just one more match to etch your name in history. And for me, one more match until I finally get rid of Saxton. Uh-oh, hazardous part of town here on the apron. A back suplex right out of the apron. Ah, oh, look at this, just cranking it out. Cranking the head. Knee right to the temple. Whip back into the ring. Bang! Isolating their opponent's arm and oh! Goodness gracious. Stops the attack with a hit to the gut. Powerless position to be in right now. Tossed around like a rag doll. Pin attempt for the championship. Fights out at two. How? Oh, How? Oh. Down to Odin and a double axe handle smash. Uh-oh. <laughs> Veteran instincts from Triple H. Shoulders down, championship on the line. No, he gets the shoulder up. Getting dangerously close to ending it all there. Oh my! Triple H is a very specific way he likes to wrestle a match, Corey. How do you stop yourself from getting swept up and pardon the expression, his game? With a championship on the line. Welcome to the Triple H era. Here is your winner, and the new WWE Undisputed Champion, the Game Triple H. You can just feel it. Their championship dream has become reality. We really are looking
looking at a new era, Cole. Soak it in.